On the 11th of March, the Pakistan Air Force commissioned six J 10C fighter aircraft following their delivery from China. Pakistan's Interior Minister, Mr. Rashid, had earlier confirmed the purchase of 25 J 10C fighters in total. The J 10C is a 4.5 generation multi role combat aircraft outfitted with some of China's most advanced avionics and air-to-air -air missiles. The Pakistan Air Force asserted that the J-10C is a game-changer and is unrivaled and unparalleled in the region. Prime Minister Imran Khan said that it is a big addition to Pakistan's defense systems to address the regional security imbalance. The J-10C brings a multitude of improvements over the existing JF-17 Thunder, which is Pakistan's most numerous combat aircraft currently. The changes include the incorporation of a much more capable fire control radar and a latest generation head-up display unit. The J-10C will also use China's most advanced air combat missiles, the PL-15, for long-range engagement, and the PL-10 for short-range combat. The J-10C will not be replacing the JF-17 or the F-16, so the acquisition will increase the number of modern fighters in the Pakistan Air Force. Pakistani pilots have already gained exposure to the J-10 aircraft in the course of the Sino-Pakistan Shaheen military exercises. The J-10C is powered by a Chinese WS-10B engine, rather than the Russian AL-31F engine that powers most of the J-10 fighters in the Chinese Air Force. Because the J-10C is a single-engine fighter, this suggests that China is confident with the reliability of its domestic engine. The top speed of the J-10C is Mach 1.8, similar to the Rafale, but the J-10C is believed to have better thrust, which means faster acceleration than the Rafale. The WS-10B engine is also used to power the J-20, China's fifth generation fighter, so it can be considered one of the best engines that China has to offer. The primary air-to-air -air combat weapon is the PL-15 missile, which is China's most powerful beyond visual range missile. It has a range exceeding 200 kilometers, a huge increase from the PL-12 missiles used by the current JF-17 and the J-10s in the Chinese Air Force. The PL-15 uses active radar homing, which is highly resistant to jamming, although it is more expensive. The J-10C also uses the PL-10 short-range missile. The PL-10 is much more lethal than the PL-8 missile on the JF-17, because they can be launched as soon as the pilot sees the target, whereas the PL-8 requires the pilot to lock onto the engine exhaust on the target. The J-10C is able to carry cruise missiles for the purpose of anti-shipping strikes and ground attack. While the specific weapon remains unconfirmed, unofficial photos suggest that the J-10C is equipped with the YJ-83K anti-ship cruise missile. The upgraded version of this weapon has a range of 230 kilometers. This exceeds the range of the Barrack 8 air defense missiles on Indian destroyers, meaning that the J-10C can potentially threaten Indian warships without taking return fire. There is also speculation that Pakistan will upgrade the J-10C in the future to become capable of delivering airborne nuclear weapons for the purpose of nuclear deterrence. It is also widely reported that the J-10C is able to carry laser-guided bombs. The fire control radar is a state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array, or ASA for short. 
The Acer on the JTNC should be a huge improvement from the mechanically scanned KLJ7 radar on the existing JF-17s. The Acer will have a much longer range and resolution than previous systems, and will allow the JTNC to take advantage of the extended range of the PL-15 air-to-air missile to engage targets from afar. An ASAR radar is what truly separates a 4.5 generation fighter jet from 4th generation fighters. The JTNC also has an infrared search and tracking system, which seeks out targets using their infrared radiation. This method has the benefits of being stealthier, because the JTNC will not need to emit any radiation of its own, and the targets would not receive warning from its radar warning receiver. Lastly, the JTNC uses the latest generation of Chinese display unit, which is a wide angle holographic head up display. This matches the latest J20 fighters in China. The holographic display screen has a simplified appearance with light reflectivity and transmittance high brightness and can be used under direct sunlight. It should massively enhance the combat's awareness, the lethality and the survivability of the pilot during air combat. The JTNC exported to Pakistan has a different data link than the aircraft in Chinese service. This data link should be compatible with the Western manufactured aircraft in Pakistan Air Force, such as the F-16 and the Pakistani early warning aircraft, and also warships, some of which have been purchased from Western countries. There are some people in Pakistan who feel it is better to purchase F-16 fighters instead, either from the United States or its allies. But the political environment means it might be very difficult to reach a deal, which would require American approval. Even if a sale is successful, there is uncertainty around how much technical support the US government is willing to provide. Basically, China is perceived as a more reliable supplier in the current geopolitical environment. The JTNC should also be much cheaper than the Rafale. Experts believe that the unit's price of a JTNC is just one-third that of a Rafale. As an aside, the Block 3 of the JF-17 Thunder will enter service with the Pakistan Air Force in 2022. The Block 3 JF-17s will incorporate the ASAR radar the PL-15 air-to-air missile, and the PL-10 missile. This version of the JF-17 should be much more capable than the ones currently in service, and might be fairly close to the capability of the JTNC.